big news. So Spotify, of course, um, Variety notes that Spotify has now inked a new multi-year partnership deal with Joe Rogan for his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. Maybe I should have named this the Peter Mancuso Experience. Um, so the deal is reportedly worth up to $250 million. Um, Spotify will um, will handle distribution and ad sales, and, and Rogan will receive a guaranteed minimum fee along with a cut of the advertising revenue. Um, the big kind of thing here, though, is that uh, the, sh the podcast will no longer be exclusive to Spotify. Um, this will be the first time in three years, right? So about three years ago, they signed the original deal, which was worth about 100 to $200 million uh, for three and a half years, according to Verge. Um, and Joe Rogan, the only place you could listen to Joe Rogan was on Spotify, right? And this change, you know, kind of reflects a broader, Spotify's new broader strategy that they started last year in 2023. Um, Variety notes that, you know, th this would include d ditching exclusivity for broader distribution um, across, you know, Apple Podcasts and, you know, my, my preferred uh, podcast listening app is Pocket Casts. Um, you know, the idea would be to get it out there more and then use that ad revenue to increase, you know, the overall kind of profit of the, of the enterprise, um, which I think is a very smart move. Um, I'm not sure if the Joe Rogan experience currently has ads on it, but you know, you could still, you know, make the Spotify version of the show like a premium version, or you could have it air there first, and then a few days later it goes to Apple Podcast or whatever. Um, so I really do think that this is, you know, th this is a smart move on Spotify to kind of move away from exclusivity. Um, they're doing the same thing for their uh, another really popular uh, podcast on their platform, calling her, uh, not calling, call her daddy. Um, so, you know, this, this kind of, again, represents a larger, broader strategy that Spotify is employing. Um, now, but if you remember, Joe Rogan is a very controversial figure. Um, so I'm sure there's plenty of people who are not happy with this um, decision to renew this plan. Um, you know, he has come under fire for, um, you know, particularly COVID misinformation, along with some, you know, problematic content about, you know, being some anti-Semitism, some use of slurs, and some generally just off-color remarks. And if you remember... Um, there was that huge boycott from musicians in 2022. Um, people like Joni Mitchell and, uh, who was it, Neil Young, um, pulling their, and amongst many others, pulling their music off of Spotify in an attempt to try to get them to do something about Joe Rogan, particularly when it came to COVID misinformation. Um, and it didn't really seem to work. Um, you know, it you know, got people like me, just because I love Joni Mitchell, I ended up, and for a, a couple other reasons, I didn't like the way sp the Spotify app you know, it's functionality all the time didn't necessarily meet my needs anymore. Um, I since moved to Apple Music, um, which I'm much happier with. Um, but clearly not enough people did that um, to for Spotify to do anything. So not only ha did they not let him go, they've they've recommitted now to, to him. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm conflicted about Joe Rogan because ultimately, you know, the, all of those issues are very valid because, again, he 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 is a huge figure in the podcasting scene. You know, millions and millions of people listen to him. So when he has people on in the interest of just like hearing different perspectives and it's someone talking about, you know, spreading COVID misinformation about the vaccines, um, you know, that that can be very dangerous um, along with all of the other, you know, com you know off-color off comments and racist remarks or, you know, that's all valid, right? Um, but, you know, despite these issues, um, I have not listened to Joe Rogan Experience, but it seems like a very interesting show. Um, not so much for Rogan, but for the guests, right? So, you know, you'll get those guests, again, that are problematic for whatever reason, but then you'll have some really interesting people on there, right? Um, and the, the you know, my, my favorite is, because the TikTok algorithm is is very mysterious and knows exactly what I want to see. Um, I just see Neil deGrasse Tyson videos um, on TikTok all the time. Also potentially a problematic person. I think he was accused of sexual assault or harassment or something, but I don't know if that ever went anywhere. Um, but I just find him, in terms of like what he talks about, very interesting. And I often see excerpts of his appearance on the Joe Rogan experience. Um, so I would imagine that Rogan's show is best when he kind of gets out of the way and lets and let the guests be interesting, right? Um, and he's been very interesting for a lot of people, right? So this is a huge, th th this, this deal, um, going back a, a few years now, this partnership or relationship has been a huge success for Spotify, right? Um, um, THR notes that this is, you know, it's been their top pack, uh, podcast, excuse me, top podcast of the year, four years in a row, you know? Um, and it's also just, Joe Rogan is important 
for podcast, like the history of podcasting, fortunately or unfortunately. Um, again, because he's just helped drive general podcasting, li uh, podcast listening on the platform in general. Uh, the Guardian notes that, um, you know, in that four year period that I just mentioned, podcast listening rose by 232% uh, in that time period. So, you know, ultimately podcasting is huge. Um, it's a great revenue stream because it's fairly low effort. Not saying that it doesn't take a lot of work, but it's, it's very cost low. Like it's, it's, you know, it's people talking, right? The cost is in the labor. Um, so, you know, it's a really great enterprise, you know, just recently, um, that podcast smart less, um, with, uh, who is it? Sean Hayes, Will Arnett and, uh, Jason Bateman. Um, you know, that was like a pandemic show that really blew up. And then I think it was on, uh, Amazon's podcast platform, Wondery, right if I'm correct, but now it's going to Sirius XM in a huge multi-million dollar deal. Um, so podcasting is is huge right now. Um, I feel like five years ago, I would have said podcasting is huge, but it's even huger and it's only going to get huger. -er -er. Um, it's only going to keep going. Okay.